I was just feeling a little something in my, my hamstring a little while ago. It's kind of the reason why I pulled out of Shanghai. And, uh, you know, it was just being my, my first race, you know, uh, you know, I just decided to just focus in on one event, just put all my effort and energy into that, and, uh, you know, just to go from there, and, you know, worry about the 200 later in the year. How is your hamstring feeling now that you're you dropped out of good. Shanghai? Is feeling better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel really good. I feel really great. I mean, I, I mean, I could have still ran in Shanghai, but it was just kind of like a precautionary thing, you know, not worth the risk that early in the season. Yeah. And so, obviously, you know, when I step on the track, it's just no excuses. It's, you know, I feel 100% ready to go. And what are your thoughts on Gatlin dropping out? Uh, I mean, you know, it's unfortunate, but you got to, you know, do what you got to do for, um, you know, to look at the bigger picture for the long run. And so obviously that would have been a cool, um, I, you know, race for him and me to, to match up and, and run here. Um, but, you know, um, we'll line up uh, later in the season. So excited about that. That make you a little less nervous about this race or <laughs> no change at all? Nah, I don't never get nervous. I mean, it's kind of just whoever steps on the line, you know, I'm going to give it 100%, give it all I got regardless. And so, you know, whoever's on the line is, you know, who, you know, the cars are dealt. That's who I got to compete with. And it's still, you know, a lot of fast guys there, you know, Sue and, you know, Ronnie, um, a lot of other guys who, you know, really great competitors. And so, you know, I just got to focus in on myself and just worry about my lane and um, just try to go out and execute and do what I can do. Awesome. Well, thank you. Have thank you. Appreciate it. So you've never beaten Gatlin. Is that mm -hmm. something that you, you really want to get, get under your belt? Uh, nah, I mean, it's just, I don't necessarily think about that. I just try to go out and just try to execute and win every single race. Just give him my all. Um, and, you know, like I told her, um, you know, it's unfortunate he, he, you know, he won't be here. But, you know, it's a lot of other guys, you know, who are pretty fast and great competitors, have a really good season so far. And so, um, you know, it wouldn't, even if he was here, it wouldn't just be me and him on the line, you know. Yeah. And so I just got to focus in on myself, you know, worry about, you know, what I can do um, and, you know, just try to execute my race and, you know, try to come out with a win. So do you not get excited to race with certain people? Because I know, like, when I saw the name came out, you and Miles and 200, a lot of people were mm -hmm. excited about that. Obviously, it's not happening. But do you, do you get up for specific individuals or race? Nah, I mean, I come into this, the race with the same mindset every single time, you know. I feel like in college, you know, you might look at your prelim heat and be like, oh, you know, I can chill. But on the pro level, every time you step on the track, it's, you know, a world-class race. You know, you run against world-class athletes, so you can never slack off. And, you, you know, you always got to give it your all to try to come out and win. And so that's just kind of the mindset I've always had and I'll continue to have is, you know, no matter what, who's on the line, no matter what type of event it is, big or small, you know, I'm going to give it my all and try to come out with a win. And so for me, it doesn't really matter who's on the line. You know, I just try to go out and, and try to get the win. What time would you would you like to would you be happy with tomorrow? Uh, I mean, I'll be happy with the win. So whatever that takes, I think it'll take a pretty fast time. You know, obviously with the, with the caliber of guys that are on the line, and so I'm just excited about that. I'll be having really good practices, and I'm um, just excited to see what I can go out and do. Yeah. Do you yeah. feel like Hayward? Like, how fast is this straightaway compared to the other tracks in Bristol? Because it has a reputation. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, obviously, I run some pretty fast times here. I ran my PR here last year. Uh, won a couple national titles on this track, and so you know it holds a special place in my heart. Uh, and it's a really fast track, obviously. And so, um, uh, I don't know. I guess it's just yeah, it's a fast track, and so hopefully I can drop another fast on tomorrow. What's your favorite race that you've run here? Because you know it's this will be the last time you get to run here before mm -hmm. it's not that. My favorite race. Uh, I mean, I've had some really, really great races here. I made the Olympic team here on this track. Um, collegiate record, you know, on the, on the track, national title. Uh, I can't really pick a specific race, you know. Um, I don't know. I guess probably winning, winning the hundred national title. Um, that was just something I've always, you know, worked for and, and dreamed about coming out and, you know, winning nationals. You want to be the best in college, and so um, that was a pretty historic meet for me. And um, so yeah, I had to say that race. If you had to put a percentage at where you where you are right now and where you want to be, you know, coming back from hamstring, do you feel like you're close to 100? percent Is there a number you can put to it roughly? Uh, no. Nah, if I, I mean, if I get on the track, if I step on the track, I'll be 100. percent You know, there's no excuses. You know, if you step on the track. You know, you can't get out there and say, oh, I lost because I was 90% or 85. Nah, if you get on the track, you know, you got to be ready to go. And so, you know, when I'm out there, you know, I'm 100% already. And so, um, you know, I'll be ready to go. All right. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.